Hello, my name is Dr. Hannah Weaver, and I am the Assistant Professor and Coordinator of Percussion here at the University of Nebraska Omaha. I joined the faculty here at the School of Music this past fall, and I've been thrilled to work with a crop of incredibly energetic, dedicated, and talented students. Despite the global pandemic, we've been able to put on several meaningful performances this past semester. Since we can't share them with you live, we wanted to put together a little video montage of the greatest hits so you can see all of the hard work that we've put in this semester. The first selection you'll see is from a performance of Lou Harrison's Suite for Percussion. Lou Harrison was an American-born composer, born in 1917. He was openly gay at a time when this was less accepted than it is now, and he was very vocal in uh, advocating for other marginalized composers. Suite for Percussion is an important piece in the percussion repertoire. Harrison employs a wide variety of unique sounds in his compositions, and this piece is no exception. You'll notice that we play everything from car brake drums and spring coils to thunder sheets, thin sheets of metal that shake and sound like thunder, and metal wash tubs. See if you can identify some of these unique sounds as you watch this video. The next video is a selection from our fall percussion ensemble concert. This happened to fall on Halloween, which explains the costumes you'll see in this video. One of our first year students is an incredibly talented vocalist in addition to percussionist, so we decided to showcase some of her talents in this particular piece. The selection you'll be seeing next is entitled Ghost Arms, and it's written by Ivan Trevino. Trevino is a Latino composer and performer who often tackles difficult subjects in his compositions, such as political and social issues. In this piece, you'll notice that the time signature is a little odd. A lot of pop or rock songs fall into groupings of four or three beats per measure. This piece is in seven. It's grouped in this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So as you watch this, see if you can catch that unusual grouping of beats. Underneath the rain. 
This next video is a selection from a recital that I presented this past November. One of my favorite composers is J.S. Bach. I absolutely love his writing for solo string instruments. Unfortunately, I don't play a string instrument. I tried for a few years as a kid and I did not get very far. So now I settle for playing these pieces on marimba. This next selection is from the Fugue from his first sonata for solo violin in G minor. A fugue is a style of music in which a melody in one voice appears and then is repeated in other voices and sometimes transformed. I'm going to demonstrate the fugal subject from this piece and then I want to see if you can identify it as you watch a clip from the, uh, from the performance. This next video is a selection from a solo entitled Spider Walk by Marta Tyszynska. Tyszynska is a Polish composer who studied at the Cleveland Institute of Music and now teaches composition at the University of Chicago. This performance was given by Kendall Wooden, one of our juniors who is studying percussion performance here at UNO. In this video, you'll notice that Kendall is surrounded on three sides by a wide variety of percussion instruments. This, uh, this solo falls into the category of multiple percussion for exactly this reason. There are multiple different categories of instruments that are performed in one setting. You'll see Kendall play everything from tom-toms to a single timpano, gongs, cymbals, wind chimes, cowbells, and even omglocken. As you watch Kendall navigate his way around this setup, I imagine you can picture the uh, motivation for the title of the piece, Spider Walk, where you can see Kendall visually creating a web as he moves around these instruments. This final video is another selection from our Halloween fall percussion concert, so enjoy another selection of unique costumes during this video. This piece is entitled Sculpture in Wood, written by Rudiger Pawasar. It's a marimba quartet, 
in which the first three players trade melodies and solos while the fourth player provides a rich bass line. The lush, resonant sound of the marimba blends beautifully between the players in a way that if you closed your eyes, you might think that one single instrument was making this piece. While you watch the video, see if you can track which player has the solo at any given time and see if you can figure out which is the bass player holding down the bass line. I hope you've enjoyed these videos. If you want to enjoy more performances or find out more about uh, the program here at UNO, please feel free to reach out to me via email or phone and give us a follow on YouTube and Instagram. Thank you for your time and please enjoy this video of Sculpture in Wood. Thank you.